Public speaking opportunities are everywhere, from TED Talks to Toastmasters to stand-up comedy, but some are better than others. So in this video, we're going to rank 15 different public speaking opportunities from worst to best. And we're going to do it on this public speaking formats tier list. At the top of the tier list is the super tier and below that we have A, B, C and D in descending order of power. Most of these formats I have tried myself so let's get started with the one we're doing right now which is YouTube. There are many reasons why YouTube is a great opportunity for speakers. Firstly, if you do want to become a professional speaker, you need a YouTube channel so that people can find samples of your work. It's also pretty easy access, anybody can post videos here and your reach is potentially unlimited because it's a huge platform. There are also plenty of monetization opportunities. That means that you can make money via your YouTube videos. One of the drawbacks of YouTube is that it can be difficult to stand out in a crowded speaker landscape. But because of the almost unlimited potential of a YouTube channel, this is a very good opportunity B tier. Next up we have Toastmasters. It's an international organization where you can learn public speaking and leadership skills in a friendly environment. There are Toastmasters clubs all over the world and that means that it's really easy access for you as a speaker. If you live in a big city, you can probably do a speech every day of the week if you want and that stage time is absolutely key if you want to develop as a speaker. Another great benefit of Toastmasters is that because it's international, if you're traveling to other cities, you can probably visit a Toastmasters club and it's a great way to engage with the local community. One of the drawbacks of Toastmasters is that it can be too nice. There's nobody pushing you outside of your comfort zone. There is also no obvious way to make money from Toastmasters, but then again, that's not really the goal of people who join a Toastmasters club. It is, after all, a great opportunity to learn, to get more comfortable on stage. A great opportunity, B tier. Another format within Toastmasters is the International Speech Contest. If you win that competition, you will become the world champion of public speaking. However, this only happens once a year, so there isn't a lot of opportunity for that competition stage time. Furthermore, if you ask somebody who is the current world champion of public speaking, if that person is not a Toastmaster, they will have no idea. It just isn't a famous contest. For example, I am a five-time Swiss champion of public speaking within Toastmasters, but nobody cares. So because this contest does not have the cachet of some of these other speaking opportunities, we're going to put it in the D tier. Next up, we have industry conferences and events that happen all over the world. For example, I have had the opportunity to speak on technical topics within my area of expertise, which is executive compensation and employee share plans. And these are great ways to share your knowledge, but they're also a great way to make money and become famous. Because you can not only speak on a technical topic, you can also be a moderator or a facilitator, or you can become a keynote speaker, which is where the real fame and money actually exists. Plus, you get to travel to all these amazing places for the conferences. So being a conference speaker is an excellent speaking opportunity, A tier. Next up we have stand-up comedy. I've been performing stand-up comedy since 2017 and I run my own comedy club here in Basel, Switzerland. Stand-up comedy is a great public speaking opportunity if you are funny. You can get plenty of stage time if you live in a big city. You can probably go perform multiple times per day. Another great thing about stand-up comedy is that it's going to be easy for you to perform when you're traveling. This is how I've been able to perform in Japan, in China, various places in the US. I even performed in Kenya plus all over Europe. One drawback of stand-up comedy is that it's very difficult to make money in it or to become famous. Stand-up comedy also has a wonderful friendly community all over the world and new comedians are always welcome to go up to an open mic and try their jokes. In fact, if you want to learn how to become a stand-up comedian from scratch and deliver your first five-minute performance, go to comedyforbeginners.com. That's my online class. Because it's so easy to get stage time and improve as a stand-up comedian, this is a great opportunity beat here. 
Within stand-up comedy, there's a format that I've also tried called the roast battle. This is where two comedians go up against each other and then they trade insult with the other person. When done correctly, it can be hilarious. When done badly, it can be incredibly awkward. And you can also cry on the train back after your roast battle. And because that is what happened to me, I'm going to put this in the D tier. Next up, we have Poetry Slam. Slam poets are basically just failed comedians and they are our mortal enemies, F tier. Next up we have improv, which means improvisation. I've done a couple of improv classes and I really had a lot of fun with them. The basic idea of improv is that you don't have a script and people tell you which situation you're in and then you have to act out that situation. One of the basic tenets of improv is the concept of yes and. So you say yes and then you build on the other person's contribution. It's a really great principle for public speaking and especially when you want to do it in a more collaborative way. One drawback of improv is that there are not a lot of great opportunities to monetize and you're probably not going to become famous by doing improv. But because of all the things that you can learn from improv that will help you in the rest of your public speaking career, this is still a decent opportunity, C tier. Next up we have the big daddy of them all, TED Talks. If you are a public speaker, then doing a TED Talk is probably somewhere on your bucket list. TED is of course incredibly selective and has huge influence. So if you weren't famous before your TED talk, you definitely will be afterwards. And that opens up a host of opportunities for you. There is really no limit to your potential if you're able to get on the TED stage. Obviously a super tier opportunity. Next up we have TEDx talks, which are like a lighter version of TED talks. TEDx events are organized by independent committees all over the world and getting on a TEDx stage is much easier than getting on the big TED stage. It's still a great opportunity because if you participate in a public TEDx event, your video will be available on the TEDx YouTube channel which gives you great exposure as a speaker. I have been on the TEDx stage twice and I'm going to do a third one later this year. I did a live stream where I walk you through three different paths to the TEDx stage and I'm going to link to it in the card here above me or you can also find the link in the description below this video. The one drawback from TEDx is that there is no obvious path to make money from it. But you can have huge influence and impact a lot of people through your TEDx appearance. An amazing opportunity, A tier. Another format similar to TEDx is Ignite. These are short educational presentations. Their tagline is enlighten us but make it quick. You probably never heard of a famous Ignite speaker or maybe you never even heard of Ignite at all. And that is exactly the point. Ignite D tier opportunity. Are you getting value? Hit the like button. Next up we have video conferencing. And video conferencing is probably the type of public speaking that many of us have been doing most recently. The problem with video conferencing is that that is not really something that you choose, it's something that you are forced into. But that also opens up an opportunity for you as a speaker. It is still very easy to impress on a video conference. If you can be just a little bit better than the average, you have an opportunity to shine as a speaker. If you would like to get my free checklist on everything that you need to prepare in order to look amazing on your video conference, use the link in the description to download my free video conferencing checklist. I believe video conferencing is here to stay and is still a decent opportunity for speaking. See it here. Next up we have live streaming. This is when you go live on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitch or on LinkedIn. You have an excellent opportunity to reach a huge potential audience and you can really share your message widely. There are also great opportunities to make money via live streaming. It is hard to do live streaming correctly but that means that you also have an opportunity to impress. Plus you can also get started with just your video conferencing setup so it's pretty easy access C tier. I actually really like live streaming myself and I often do it on Sundays right here on my YouTube channel. If you want to be notified when I go live, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Just click the big red subscribe button. And by the way, we have just reached 1000 subscribers on this channel. That makes me happy and I hope that you are one of them. 
Next up, we have annual general meetings. This is actually a really good speaking opportunity if you're more technically minded. One of my favorite gigs from last year was when I hosted the annual general meeting of the Project Management Institute right here in Switzerland. Hosting an AGM is not something everybody can do because you have to be both a great speaker and a leader and you also have to make sure that the meeting runs smoothly so that the right decisions are made and we follow the correct procedure. In my case, my educational background actually helps me because I have a degree in business law and hosting AGMs is a really good fit for my kind of speaker. Great opportunity, B tier. Next up, we have corporate workshops, and they are different than many of the other opportunities that we talked about. In many of those other formats, you're never really sure if you actually reach people or if you can change something in their lives. When you're doing a corporate workshop, you can be sure that the participants are going to walk out with some new skills that they can use immediately. I'll give you an example. I have a workshop about how to look more professional when video conferencing. In that workshop, I make a short introduction to some of the best practices, but most of that workshop is you getting individual feedback on your video conferencing setup. So it's super practical and you can actually make changes during the workshop and afterwards you will have a better video conferencing setup. If you would like to book this workshop for yourself, go to marcuspresents.com slash workshops. Corporate workshops is a great opportunity for any speaker because you can impact people's lives, plus there are plenty of ways to make money with corporate workshops as well. In addition, if you become known for a specific type of workshop, you can build your influence over time as well. Solid opportunity, B tier. If you want more public speaking tips from my channel, click or tap the screen right here is my full playlist of all the public speaking tips that I've gathered based on all the different public speaking formats that I've tried. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.